Hey guys, how are you? David here from TechSocial.com with a pretty quick topic for you guys slash question because I'm interested in seeing and hearing and reading all that stuff, your opinion on this topic. Did I just say topic twice? I think I did. Anyway, let's just get right into it. If you go to my personal blog at ddefranco.com or daviddefran.co, you'll see that I have a very new blog post I literally just posted within like two hours ago, actually an hour ago, called The Future of Operating System Installations. Now, this comes from an article I just read on Mashable regarding Apple announcing, although hold on, I should say, do not quote me, I'm simply going by Mashable. I have not seen official news by Apple regarding this, I'm just going by what Mashable said, and, and, and as you know, Mashable's a great source of, of you know social media news, tech news, so just my little disclaimer, so if I get this wrong, don't shoot me or anything. You can stab me, but don't shoot me. No, please, please don't stab me. Anyway, the point is, Mashable announced today that Apple is apparently rolling out the Mac OS X Lion upgrade, update, which is a update, huge update, via the Mac App Store. Now, for those not aware, the Mac App Store is kind of like the iOS App Store or Android Marketplace. Is that what it's called? Marketplace? Um, the Windows Phone 7 Store. I don't even know what they call their store since I'm primarily an iPhone and iPad user. Um, but this basically allows us to install our apps very easily. But when they announced it via the Mac App Store, that made installing apps even simpler. For instance, Final Cut Pro 10 is being released via the Mac App Store for just $300. And I will be there on day freaking one. I cannot wait. I, I seriously will buy that right away. That's the kind of software I strongly believe you do not need the disk for because it's just software. But when you're talking about an operating system, that's just not software. That's like the big daddy of software. That software holds every other software. I guess that's the best analogy I can use or metaphor, whatever word you want to say. Anyway, getting to the point of my rambling, uh, basically Apple's looking to release OS X Lion via the Mac App Store. An update only though. So basically this will, this will allow users to download um, Lion, the update, and install it without any disk whatsoever. Now personally, I think this is awesome. I think this is a hint of the future. It's not even a hint, it's basically a fact. Uh, we're obviously moving away from physical mediums, media, whatever you want to say, and I strongly believe in a couple years we'll be seeing MacBook Pros and Mac Pros without optical drives. Now yes, that may seem a bit scary nowadays, but in two years time I think things will be totally different. Um, so this brings me to my point of making this video. I think releasing the OS X line update is good, uh, you know, via the Mac App Store. But for me personally, I'm going to kind of contradict myself in terms of the future. But in terms of OS updates, I still prefer to install everything via a disk. Because of one main reason, clean install. Now, when you download the OS X line update via the Mac App Store, as far as I know, it's an update only. You cannot do a clean install. I don't even know how you would do that because you have to be inside the OS X interface to validate that it's you with your Apple ID and your password to, to uh, you know, tell Apple it's you that downloaded that software and only you. Um, so, I'm kind of rambling, guys, but the point is, Personally, I will definitely be buying Lion on a disk because I'll be doing a clean install on a solid state drive. And plus, when it comes to big updates like this, I just like that idea of having a fresh install. I like things being quick again. Because as you guys saw in my What's My Doc video last last month, was it last month? I forget. Time Time's going too fast these days. Um, you'll see that my Mac Pro is not exactly fast anymore. I mean, it's fast in terms of software. But in terms of startup and shutdown and restart, it could be much, much faster. Okay, so with my thoughts aside, to get them out of here, what are your thoughts on the OS X line update? Would you rather update the, via the Mac App Store? Which I strongly believe the average user will do that mostly because, well, it's easy and it just works. And I think it's going to be cheaper doing it, uh, you know, that method. So I was looking outside, his cars are going by. Or... Would you rather go my route and install it via a disk, meaning you can get a clean install and you don't have to worry about being online just to download the major update? And by the way, I should say, if you are downloading via the Mac App Store, make sure you have a good internet connection. I think most people do a broadband nowadays, but that's going to be gigabytes of data, and that is going to take a long time to download. 
Um, actually, not that long, because it's not like you're uploading or downloading. But the point is, just be a little prepared for um, somewhat of a wait time. Anyway, guys, I've talked enough. What are your thoughts? Leave it, in the, leave it in the comments below. I'm trying to do more videos like this where I take blog posts and turn them into vlogs. Vlog? I've never been a big fan of the word vlog, although it's growing on me. Uh, but I'm also going to be doing stories, I mean videos, on stories on techsocial.com. For instance, we have a blog post here by Ryan Bates. He um, does a review of the HTC Arrive, the phone. Um, now, I don't use HTC products, and as far as I know, it looks like a nice phone, but I don't know enough to talk about it. But if you guys post something on techsocial.com, or if you're not an author and you don't feel like being an author, just go to techsocial.com slash forum, F-O-R-U-M. That allows us to have a discussion outside of blog posts, and as you see in the uh, page description, if you want to call it that, at, at the top, it says, there's always a chance that your thread will be discussed in a future YouTube video, so be sure to include your name in order to receive credit. So, okay, there you go, guys. I've said enough. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my links below the video for Twitter, social, yeah, Twitter, social, that makes sense. Tech social, my personal blog, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And be sure to check out my new fan page at facebook.com slash David, the creative one. And I will see you guys in my next video. And there's that damn clock again. Did you hear that? That thing haunts me, guys. It haunts me. Peace.